Welcome back to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where the word of the day is titty. T-I-T-T-Y. Is that your favorite word, Andrew? No, maybe. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, you literally come up to me, jiggle them and say, Boobies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, boobies how, is five probably... Letter, that's five-letter word, so yeah. Boobies is probably yeah. your favorite word, not titty. Podcast dogs still hasn't left. Uh, we haven't left either. We're still here from five minutes ago. <laughs> so exhausting work. This episode is brought to you by nonaphelps.com. Go get insurance, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida. Uh, a little bit of business, a little bit of car, a little bit of house, a little bit of everything except what kills you. Visit America's Technology Center of Excellence, themexmedia.com. Get yourself a website. Click all the links in our description. There's some interesting stuff in there. You might also get Rickrolled. You never know. Mm. And I'll never tell you either because I never want to give you up. Oh, so cute. Never want to say goodbye. Never want to make you cry. All right. Speaking of titties, boobies, all the things. Yep. Yep. Have you heard about a woman who breastfeeds her husband? No. She does this. I've heard of I've heard of like bodybuilders buying breast Yes, milk. I've heard about that too. Supposedly it's really good for muscle development, skin, hair, et cetera, et cetera. So all of this started back in 2016. Okay. When this, this, this couple. This couple. They had recently had their first baby together and then went on a cruise. And she forgot her breast pump. So I don't know how old the baby was at the time. But after about a day of not nursing, you are engorged. It's Good. it's it's pain- I know it's painful, but it's extremely <laughs> painful and can lead to infection. So she asked her husband to help her out. Okay. I have a question for you. Would you help me out? I don't like milk. Okay. I understand that, but would you help me out even if you don't like the taste? If it was to prevent a possible infection. No, okay. the answer is no. Okay. You wouldn't help me out, obviously. Yes, so anyway, I would help her. I just had to pause for a dramatic effect. Sure. sure. So anyways, she says she was badly engorged. She asked her husband for help. And he started drinking and was pleasantly surprised. He didn't think that it was going to taste as good as it did. And it tastes nothing like the milk that you find in your fridge. Duh. And they haven't stopped. And they have had two more children since then. And it is a bonding experience that they have together. Now that her children are older. You can't do it as easily. <laughs> it's down to just a nighttime nursing. It was Homelander. So he nurses He's every night as their special quality time together. And He's he hasn't had any colds. He is feeling healthier. His skin is more radiant. And he is attributing it 100% to her breast milk. Okay, Homelander. Now we know where you get your superpowers. City milk. <laughs> That is 100% what they say. Has he tried to fly yet? (laughs) I don't think so. But this is on the New York Post, and they are trying to open open the minds of others and encourage husbands and wives to grow closer together by nursing. So, Andrew. Nope. If I was still lactating, no. would you? No. Are you sure? Yes, I don't like milk. Yeah. She has right. said multiple times in this article just how close it brought them together. And so he's, it's nothing like the way you're getting. Okay. Yeah. Because it's not pasteurized. It's not. There's, it hasn't, I've never tasted it, but I have heard people describe it as. Water. No, they said it tasted like cantaloupe juice, and you like cantaloupe. But it's fat water. That's just what I've heard. It's fat water. But again, I've never tasted my own breast milk. If I wanted fat water, 
I would eat bacon grease. Okay, Andrew. That's exactly what I would do. Okay. Okay. Don't you? What are you? What are you? Doing? What? The dog is underneath us, looking at the ground and growling at the ground. Don't you dare! I'm pausing the video. I'll be back. No, no. Have you ever heard of rooftop Koreans? What? Have you ever heard of roof, rooftop Koreans? What is that? Okay, you ever heard of it? No. What no, is that? I'm not gonna explain. Have you ever heard of? You've heard of Florida man stories, though, right? When people say yes. Florida man. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So yes. we have Michigan woman. Oh, okay. Yes. We need to come up with a name for that. If we, we need something, maybe now, maybe we can do a per state. Each state can have its own unique thing if we find a unique story. Okay. So Michigan woman, she's just a Michigan Wolverine. Because it's MW still, and I'm a Michigan man. So anyway. even though it's a even though it's a terrible story, it's kind of funny. Okay. Please enlighten us, Andrew. This woman mm-hmm. in now I can't remember the name of the town. I know the road. I was on Saginaw Road. It's a grocery store called Family Fair. Okay. She was living in their rooftop sign. And how do you do that, Andrew? She wouldn't even tell the police, so I don't know. She somehow, they don't know if she was, she had a key and knew the code to come in through the, you know, like get into. And just to be clear, the sign is on the exterior of the building. Yeah, but a lot of times you have like storage and offices that are up on your second story, so there could be an access. That'd be the much easier way to change your light bulbs rather than having to break out a Ladder. I'm just curious how her shadow wasn't seen. She had a through... full blown. She had a full blown, like work desk, a printer. She had a nook with uh, a printer. There were electrical outlets in uh, here. Yeah, yeah. She had a desk. She had like a little bed. She had a little area with snacks and food storage and stuff. Okay. Yeah. She had, and she told the police that she had been living up there for a year. And, and what are the police going to do about it? Nothing. And she is gainfully employed. And what does she do for a living? They didn't say. They just let her go and gave her a stern talking to. Don't do it again. Was so, she allowed to collect her belongings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the grocery store was working with her to give them to her. Their parent company put out a statement that they were proud of how police and their subsidiary brand handled it. Mm-hmm. And they were looking at ways to try and help her find adequate housing because we know how hard that is to find wow that's but that's admirable but if she was living up there okay a couple of things here most stores in anywhere mm-hmm. have a sign that says you know towing after whatever time mm-hmm. they typically know who the employees cars are you won't get towed mm-hmm. was there not a sign was towing or does she force? not have a vehicle yeah maybe she is able to walk or bus to her employment so here's the next thing she lived or does she work for the grocery store are you a thousand percent sure Yep. they said that she does not and has never been employed by them or any of their brands i'm curious what made her choose that sign like it i have never gone to a grocery store and looked up at a sign and said wow i would love to live in there we're never that looks like a beautiful place to live we're never going to find out because she's not going to tell because she's probably going to go find another one. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Unless. Uh, no, there's she, probably going to be a GoFundMe. She, she's going to she immediately have a new apartment. Assuming, and... assuming she didn't spend any of the money that she made. Okay. Yeah. Other than food and I mean, change of clothing. as I've said already, food is a fucking luxury at this point. Like, so I get she it. She had have been showering at like a gym or something. A YMCA, something. $10 a month, Planet Fitness. That's where a lot of people who are homeless. Sure. There you go. So there's her shower, but where should she do her laundry? Laundromat? Mm-hmm. So we've it's got... Like, what, 50 cents or a dollar? So we've got hygiene covered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only thing that she didn't have, or at least they didn't specify, is a refrigerator. So everything that she ate and consumed had to have been... Directly country. from the fridge section of the grocery store. That might be when the employees said that they had seen her and she mm-hmm. disappeared. Mm-hmm. But she would have had to have paid, so they have to know her name. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. You go into the grocery store all the time. I go into the grocery store all the time. They don't know our names. I don't ever. No, I'm saying they do know your name because they have you on camera and they swipe your card. They don't have to know you as a For person. For all we know, she's cash only. If you're doing that, that's awesome, but I highly doubt it. I'm just it's 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 not convenient for somebody that's living in that kind of situation. Because if she wants to order food or she needs to get an Uber. How the fuck are you going to order food and say, Oh yeah, just deliver it to the sign? She'll probably meet them somewhere because you can do that. You can just Oh, I'll just be waiting in front of the grocery store. Yeah, they will Uber you food to a, a pin that's drop. That's crazy. Yeah. I've never heard. Okay, yeah. that's so crazy. So she can go to like a bus stop and have it. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've heard it all now. There's actually, I saw, I, I think I might have taken a screenshot of it. There was somebody, I think it's it's a uh, fishing season in like Wisconsin for a specific type of fish. Okay. I don't know. I don't, not from Wisconsin, never even been there. And you and I don't fish either. So. There were this uh, store was posting about how if you're sitting on the wall fishing right now or something like that and you don't want to leave, uh, we'll deliver food and worms. And it was a girl carrying a box of what looked like really, really good pizza and a thing of wow. mealworms. Or not mealworms. Uh, okay. I don't know shit about fishing. No, that, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. They should do that here. Well, they probably do. I'm sure some somebody has to have some sort of business where they'll ferry you out, food to your boat. It's probably so cost prohibitive, though, for like a normal person. If you're only out, like just on the intercoastal, I don't or, know of a single business that will do that. But places like Dockside no, no, or no, Blue no, Water, saying, you no, can no, 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 you no. can pick it up no, from no, your boat. No, not the business. A business like Uber. That does it oh. for all businesses. So instead of CETO, it's... Yes. <laughs> That's the only way that that works anyways. There's... Seafood. No restaurant. Seafood. No restaurant's going to pay a boat captain to stand around and do nothing when they don't receive orders. It's never going to work like that. It'll only ever be an Uber, DoorDash type deal. But it's probably cost prohibitive because now you're paying for somebody's boat somebody's yeah i don't fuel i don't think it exists here i'm not saying it doesn't exist in like miami or some other place but okay. i i don't think it exists here you're definitely not going to be getting your can of mountain dew delivered to you for a reasonable price you yeah. know but yeah living in a sign yeah would you live in a sign andrew yeah. are you sure yeah so you wouldn't nurse me you wouldn't live in a sign what do you do what is your purpose in life mm, grifting lame lame and they're the, so they're calling her the roof ninja because they would see her in the store and then she would vanish as they said when i think of that term i think of the people who like parkour like jumping from building to building yeah, okay it's like roof ninjutsu sure <laughs> okay all right speaking so. of parkour did you see that paramount is coming back with the office that's been fake every time. It's it's legit this it's, time. Did there's Power, there's did two. Paramount, did Paramount themselves, or did you see it on somebody's account? Because Paramount people, or Peacock, Ooh, people are sorry. using people me, are using AI. I know it's and it starts with P. Sorry, I hold on. You're, you're about to be disappointed. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, it's Peacock, not Paramount. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be disappointed. This is on time. Everything we need or everything we know. You showed it too fast. I don't know. What Sorry, it. this is on time, so it's like a legitimate okay. source. What are they until Comcast, NBC, Peacock comes out and says it themselves? Okay, so they're saying this new show is neither a reboot nor a sequel of the beloved franchise. It's also not a spinoff, but it's still going to be The Office, but focused on a different kind of paper company. Uh, the documentary crew that immortalized Dunder Mifflin, Scranton Branch, is in search of a new subject when they discover a dying historic Midwestern newspaper and the publisher trying to revive it with volunteer reporters, Peacock said in an announcement. This new series sets in the universe of Dunder Mifflin, introduces a new cast of characters in a fresh setting ripe for comedic it. storytelling, a daily newspaper, said Katz. 
Not gonna watch it. So yeah, it unfortunately doesn't look like it has any of the original people, but it is. Well, if it's not a sequel or a spinoff, then it can't. Right. So it's it's just trying to give is... office vibes. This mm -hmm. in my world is like okay. So if I wanted to, uh, you know, when they pay people to come and like consume content or like give a review of like a food product before it's released to the masses? What's that called? No, I don't know. Of... You, have, you have a small group of people. They do this for movies, too. They'll screen a movie to a small group of people. I know about restaurants inviting friends and family for a tasting. No, 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 no. This is completely different what I'm, what I'm talking about. I don't know about being paid. It's right on the tip of my tongue, and I cannot think. We've seen it in movies and shows. Like, they'll have people in the room, and they're like, would you pick a... Or B. It's always like that, like really calm, happy person that's asking you your opinion. Okay. Well, what did you think of the flavor? What's the, you know, like that? That's that's what it is. So, anyways, um, test subject and test room. No, but I mean, it's basically a synonym. They leak stuff like this all the time to gauge customer interest. Okay. Let's let's make fake news and let's see if it drums up enough drums up enough sentiment that maybe it'll be worth investing. Okay. Because they don't want to do it blindly. They're mm -hmm. not going to do it without having the information. Mm -hmm. Like my clients, they're not going to do delivery until they know enough customers are willing to pay for delivery. Mm -hmm. So they want to have a form that they can collect people's information to gauge interest. Okay. If enough people say, yeah, we're interested, we we would consider it, like mm -hmm. send us more information, tell us the price, whatever, then now you have a viable program. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers are so analytical these days that they're unwilling to do anything new. Everything has to be a reboot or spinoff. That's why I fucking hated the Gentleman TV series. You hated it? Yes. You definitely did not seem like you hated it, nor did you tell me that you hated it. I watched it through because I was like, at some point, there's got to be like, they're going to tie in. They're going to, the original characters from the story. Like, but they told the parallel story. Mm -hmm. And then Guy Ritchie tried to say that there were two different things. It was the same fucking story. Mm-hmm. You were telling it from a different character's perspective, but it was the same story. Just say that you couldn't afford Matthew McConaughey again. Damn, okay. Well, I thought from the beginning that it was like supposed to be her daughter or his daughter or something like that. Yeah, you said that for a while though. Yeah. And was then the when we generation. finally when we finally saw the the real dad in yeah. jail or yeah. whatever you want to call that jail, I was so disappointed. I'm still disappointed to this day. I was like, I love everything Guy Ritchie does. Everything he touches is great. Yeah, the movie was good. The show was just a straight up knockoff. It's when you take a movie and you turn it into a TV series mm -hmm. and then go from A-list to B-list actors. Mm -hmm. It didn't make it better. It made it worse. Categorically, patently worse. I can't think of a, another Guy Ritchie um uh, now they say that i can't either yeah and then talking about movies twisters the sequel to twister which i never saw it's coming i think bill paxton's dead right i believe he was, so he was the main actor um i don't know if any of the other cast is going to be in this mm -hmm. but it's supposed to follow a, a tired worn down Storm Chaser, dramatic. Ah. Okay. And then we had over the last like almost two eight weeks eight tornadoes yeah. or something crazy like that. No, what, what eight? What? I don't know. It was like a lot. Maybe I couldn't like keep up. Something. I couldn't keep up. There's there are hundreds that popped up over that like two week span. Mm -hmm. So. There was another one last night or yesterday, and they dropped the trailer. And the trailer, the byline for the trailer was something along the lines of, like, there's, like, once-in-a-lifetime 
you know, outbreak of tornadoes. And we're literally in a once in a lifetime outbreak of tornadoes right now mm. or for a, a, a given span of time, like mm-hmm. a very short window of time. We have more tornadoes than this across the U.S., across the world in a, any given year. But just this two week span right. has been pretty heavy. And then you have the conspiracy theorists. I was gonna conspiracy oh, theorists. I was gonna prepend that oh, okay. with the uh, chemtrail people because they're the same people. Chemtrail. Yeah. What's that? That's what they call jet exhaust. They think that all the all these planes are causing the tornadoes. No, no. no. What? No, I'm no. trying to follow. No. These bozos. Think okay. that every plane that flies over your head, mm-hmm. the exhaust that is condensating and turning into little baby clouds, okay. are chemicals that the government is dropping on your head. Oh, chem okay. trails. Okay. Anyways, yeah. uh, okay. So now they're saying that all these tornadoes are being created by the military. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. We're not even coordinated enough to do anything. We can't keep anything a secret. Everything is a TikTok. (laughs) Our top secrets of our best tanks and artillery are leaked onto video game forums by retarded privates in the army who want to prove that they know something to Russian spies. Seriously? Yeah. Dead fucking serious. Some of our biggest military secrets have been leaked by idiots that have been in the army for a year on a video game forum. And what happened to those idiots? They disappeared. Oh, okay. No, they they didn't disappear. They they are uh, in prison. Bad times. But are you going to see the movie? Do you have any interest at all? No, I've never seen the first one. Why would I see the sequel? That's fair. All I remember from the first one is they had this like, you know those uh, those rolling carts at like the grocery store that has like it's like a a round like a bucket like a one of those buckets and they like wrap a label on it so it looks like a a can like a Red Bull can or a, a Coke can or something yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, I know what you're and talking about. And then it has the clear lid. Yeah, yeah. Slide mm-hmm, into a cooler. Mm-hmm, yep. They had like this machine that looks just like that, and it had these little tracking devices. That were like basically ping pong balls. And all they wanted to do in the entire movie was to get this thing into the middle of a tornado. To do what? So it sucked them up so they could measure the wind speeds and all this stuff. Did they succeed? Like finally at the end. There's a whole Did it work? I think so. They celebrated. All the all I remember is that mm-hmm. from the entire movie, because I saw so much that the last time I saw it was probably when it came out. Mm-hmm. Um all of, the only things that I remember from the movie are that machine, them trying to get it in there, and then the scene, they're like in a barn, they're in a random person's barn, they're trying to figure out a way to like strap themselves down. So they take like these leather horse, I guess it's like part of the heart, I don't know, I don't, I, don't really, I don't know anything about farming and horses or anything like that, but they take these straps and there's like these metal pipes in this far, or this barn. And they like wrap it around their waist and they tie it around this this pipe that's in the ground. And then the tornado rips the building off and then their body's like floating from the tornado. And they're like, look at it. Oh my God, it worked. It's so cool. And then the tornado goes. That's the end of the movie. Yeah. And this came out in like 96 or something? Something like that, yeah. No. Yeah. Sounds really, really good. Yeah. I really want to see it. What are you doing, dog? Why are you trying to? She's trying to disassemble my microphone now. And now Whisper, Whisper's in here. Whisper mm-hmm. doesn't ever come in here. Oh, no, there's going to be trouble. Nope, she came to get the bone. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Boss dog. Dis- disappointed little dog. Whisper turns 15 next week. Sad, sad, sad. 15. She turns 9 on the 15th. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> where are you going? Where is your brain? Not here, not there, not anywhere. And on that note, we can talk about the next topic, Neuralink. Okay, what is Neuralink? Uh, And that was completely organic, by the way. I do have 
ADD, ADHD, mm-hmm. and Neuralink is literally the next topic. Here he goes. Wordle, breastfeeding husband, roof ninja, twisters, tornadoes, and conspiracies, Neuralink. So what is Neuralink? Uh, Neuralink is another one of Elon Musk's companies that have a computer brain implant that allows people that are paralyzed or otherwise locked in, can't communicate, to potentially return to a normal population with, you know, controlling robotics. And it's, we're still in the early stages. It's we, as a, as a population, the human race, we're still in the early generation of this. Mm-hmm. Of trying to get somebody to survive first. Gotcha. They hit a milestone. Days. They're not dead yet. It was the milestone before that? That the people died. Before three hundred days. Yeah. He's, so, this is uh, it's it's. How do you sign up for this, knowing it, that you might possibly die? Just like any other surgery, uh, any other elective surgery that's FDA approved, but is still in clinical trials. You're signing up to be a guinea pig. It's either going to work and you're going to have a quality of life improvement or it'll work for a period of time. And well, just... I'm curious to know what their estimated lifespan prior to surgery was. To be approved for any sort of clinical trial, you usually have to be in a dire situation. So, Okay. They will, like, okay. For example, they're not going to allow somebody that doesn't have cancer to take an experimental cancer treatment. Right. No, I understand that. So you have to be in a pretty bad situation. It's going to be your last resort. But the premise is, this is the future of augmenting the human race. Okay. They want to turn us into ants. I was, okay. Well, that's, that's what they're doing to the cars. They're trying to make all the cars on the road a connected network of cars mm-hmm. with all these smart features and sensors and everything like that. So your car, three miles up, gets into a wreck, can communicate to my car, and maybe I should take a detour even before Google Maps is updated. Hey, we just got into a wreck. Police and EMS haven't responded. The vehicle's on the road. Take it. So if you're in like a Tesla or any other electric car where they have full self-driving enabled, they can just, oh, I'm going to go this way, take a little detour and come back. In theory, it's efficient. Mm-hmm. In theory, if we didn't have the accordion of people slowing and speeding up in different speeds, that's something that could potentially be fixed by that because you could have everybody in line all move at the same time. Mm-hmm. You only give the distance as you speed up down the line rather than cargo, then cargo, then cargo. All cars go at the same time, and first one accelerates a little bit faster, second one accelerates a half a mile an hour slower, and you just have, you get your spacing based on the safe distance, because that they this is going to happen eventually. There's right. still going to be gas cars on the road, there's still going to be shit that fucks it up. But eventually, I mean, do you see horse bugging on the road anymore? Other than in Amish Indiana? Amish country? Yeah. You mean Pennsylvania has... In, Indiana is huge for too. Okay. Anyways, on to the next subject. But they're not on the highway. And that's where this is going to start. They're going to go the other direction. They're going to start on the highways, the freeways, places where stopping and starting isn't common. And everybody's going to be in a perfect distance from each other to both be safe and to get aerodynamic... Um, it's the opposite of drag. I can't think of what it is anymore. Dri- um, anyways. anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. I'm going to think of it as soon as I hit stop or, yeah, stop recording. Or it's going to come to me like that. Only because I'm on the spot right now. Okay. So, would you have a brain implant if it meant that it would improve your current quality of life? It if I be- was possibly going to die tomorrow? No, no, no. I said your current quality of life. No. Because it's experimental? Yeah. Okay. So I wouldn't, I didn't same, even allow the COVID vaccine it because. The same could have been said about breast implants just a couple of decades ago. Right. So what I'm asking is, where do you think we are in that timeline? Like, when do you think it will be a viable option? Or you'd be like, 
you know what? That sounds kind of cool. If I was able to make all my phone calls in my head, do all my computer work in my head without staring at a screen because it's okay. It's so back to the breast implant. So a couple dec- decades ago, yes, they were essentially the guinea pigs in the situation. What did it start? Like the seventies, eighties, late seventies, early eighties, something like that. Now, 40 years later, mm-hmm. I finally did after many people before me 50 almost 60 right so i don't know exactly when it started i'm 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 lowering down i i always round down Mm -hmm. so at least at least 40 years of other people experimenting with their bodies essentially and but all of medicines they they call it a practice for a reason Mm -hmm. because it's always evolving it's always changing it's never permanent it's never static it's always dynamic okay so it's it is a practice and you are still an experiment okay in 10 to 20 years some other technology is going to come out there and be like why did we ever do it that way yeah i could i can see that i'm not disagreeing i just i would not ever be the first okay i have no interest in so the, the speed at which technology improves how many years away do you think you are you as you are from that being something that you would even consider i wouldn't consider it in my lifetime you wouldn't consider it at all Mm-mm. okay Found video okay so I'm, would you i don't know the timeline i'm asking you the timeline but I know how fast it is advancing. I don't want something like that because I don't. Okay, we'll use the breast implant timeline. So forty years from now, so when you're I going to be. My reply to Elon was seventy-five, seventy-seven, roughly. Would you want to undergo surgery then? What if it would do something like revert or help with dementia, and your parents could afford it? What if I'm saying, what if we were at that stage right now where it could help that and prevent the Alzheimer's dementia symptoms? Well, we're not at this stage right now, so I can't, I can't ask, answer that. I'm asking you the hypothetical. It doesn't matter if we're at that stage or not. But I'm also saying, the patient has to be complacent to the surgery, and I already know my dad wouldn't. So it doesn't matter if it, the technology is there. It's... Not very invasive. They don't have to cut your... I already know my dad wouldn't do it. Okay. He would rather die tomorrow. Okay. It's just fact. I'm not saying that's not. I'm mm-hmm. just saying, okay. Yeah. It's what I asked Elon on Twitter. And of course, he replied not. He didn't. Was, uh, can I get like a hat that I can put on my head? It has all the sensors and everything like that. Mm-hmm. That can't connect to the internet unless I want it to. We'll work on my local network. So if I want to like turn on the lights, think it, don't even have to say it, that kind of thing. If I was able to like make phone calls and hear it, not have to actually talk. Could you imagine being able to have a conversation with somebody without ever ever having to actually talk? That's super fucking weird. Sure. But with AI, you can regenerate your voice. So the person on the other end, they don't have it. They can hear your voice and tone and inflection and everything pretty accurately to what you actually want to convey. And you're already, your brain is already creating those electrical i wonder what the negative repercussions within the brain would be though i wonder if tumors of dementia so you're saying hypothetically it could help dementia but it could also create so the analogy for anybody that doesn't know this in the medical world for dementia is a pruning of a bush right the more repetitive a task is and the easier it is for you to do and understand the less your brain has to, you know, go out and create these additional connections and synapses, it centralizes all of it. So if you want to go out here and prune a bush, 
you're basically taking all of your core knowledge and you're bringing it in closer to your brainstem because you're very proficient at it. You don't need the extra fluff. Your, your body, your genetics, your DNA, whatever, they understand resource management. So why give the brain more blood and nutrients and resources when I can give it to your other organs? Your brain's good. You don't need to learn anymore. Let me give it to your heart. Let me give it to your lungs. Let me give it to everything else. But then eventually it has negative impacts on everything else. So yes, it could go, somebody will probably say I'm wrong. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a I hypothesis. think it'll be more negative than positive. Uh, I think it'll be negative because it'll be weaponized. Hmm. Just like how ours now can be repoed, um, you know, electronically, remotely. Mm-hmm. You don't even need the re- repo man. You have programmed your garage door opener into your fucking car and you didn't make your payment yesterday. So now your car's pulling out of your garage and out of your driveway and driving back to the dealership <laughs> when you can no longer walk because you forgot to pay your brain bill. But if you are literally locked in, mm-hmm. I mean, there might be use cases for things like autism and uh, Down syndrome and stuff like that. People that are locked in and people that have uh, disabilities that make it difficult for them to communicate with others. Having the ability to, in an instant, rather than like Stephen Hawking, trying to peck at letters so that he can have... Are you comparing somebody with autism to Stephen Hawking? I'm saying that if they can instantly have what's in their mind translated to comprehensible words, text or voice, it doesn't matter, mm-hmm. versus having to do what he did, pecking at the letters to form the words, which was agonizingly slow. If you don't have to do that, imagine what he could have done with what was in his brain if everything that was in his brain could instantly be put on paper. The moment he thought it, the book was written. Okay. Anyways, what's yeah. the next subject? Uh, you want to talk about cockroaches? That was your funny story. <laughs> you said that really weird. Um, I, I thought you were going to have a, I thought you were going to have a punny joke ready. No, I was, I was taking a shit the other day. And taking a I shit. have, Never heard a man scream the way that he screamed. Comes out of the bathroom. I I legitimately did not you're, believe it was you're, you. You're giving me authority right now to dramatize. I did everything not. That you I do did not believe not it was you. I literally. I thought it was Charlotte. I thought it was maybe Chloe. I for sure thought it was Charlotte though. No, I, I thought said, it was. Said, oh shit! No, it That's was exactly what I said. <laughs> It was on my leg. I was taking a shit and I couldn't get up and I kicked my leg and it went into my shorts. And so I kicked my shorts towards the wall, continued pooping. Oh my God. What am I going to do? Stand up and let the poop dribble all over the floor? No, I'm civilized. Oh, gross. I'm civilized. So. You're civilized with that. Where were you at when that? In the kitchen. I was right here in the kitchen and he was only like 15 feet away. And I legitimately thought it was Charlotte screaming. And then he comes out and he was like, there was a fucking roach on me. And I was like, it was you screaming? Like, I was shocked. I had no idea it was you in the bathroom. I had no idea you were the one screaming. All this shit talk. Willow wants to go take a shit. I had no idea. See? Come talk to the podcast. Come here, Willow. Willow. The pit bull police is here. Have they met Bella yet? Bella's the enforcer. Mm-hmm. Whisper is the is the dominant one. Bella is the enforcer, and Willow doesn't know where she is. Just like that. Hi, hey, Bella. <laughs> you don't look like we abuse you and put you in dog fighting anymore. With uh... oh my god, Michael Vick—that's his name. Mm-hmm. So. 
the last thing that we have on this episode. Okay. What are we talking about now? Is uh the Andrew Taintism from okay. four hours ago. What happened now? What did he say? Andrew Taint hmm. would like you to know. Okay. What does he need me to know? Stop the dogs. Stop. And that's exactly why we'll be right back. All right, so I have your Andrew Taintism for the day. What did he say? I just I want to give you one guess because I feel like even your guess is going to be better than what he said. Better? Yeah. There's no way that you can be worse than what he said. Okay. And even if you could, you wouldn't. Well, he literally calls everybody gay. Okay. So I'm guessing it has to do with calling somebody gay. Okay. So that's can... pretty much my only guess. So four hours ago, okay. he tweeted, make homophobia great again. Oh my God. And, uh, like I said, it has Laura. to do with so many gay. Remember, uh, do you remember when that whole thing with uh, Ryan Reynolds was going around? You asked me the question. I didn't know the context of it. You asked me, it was something about like if your husband or boyfriend acts weird when you ask him about Ryan Reynolds and he's closeted or whatever. No, uh, you're saying it kind of weird. I'm saying, I'm saying it wrong it, because I don't know. But. It's like asking, I don't, this was like two years ago or a year and a half ago yeah. at this point. So it was a while ago. It was like asking if he's attractive and yeah. if your man is like, oh no, gross. Yeah. He's so, no, I would never find a man attractive. Yeah. Or if a man can admit, oh yeah, Ryan Reynolds is attractive. Probably secure with them. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I think that I'm just generalizing yeah. Yeah. here because it's been a while. Right. Okay. So like, you're getting the same vibe. I'm getting, or... I'm getting the vibe that he's projecting. Yeah, yeah. So, you think he's just gay? Yeah. And he just hates himself. Yeah. I mean, it's it's on on point with having to pay I mean, people to be around he's, you. He's the definition of a grifter. He and his brother, right? Lying, they 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 do things together, right? I don't know anything about his brother. Oh, I thought all, it, I thought it was like a duo. Uh, all I know is that Andrew Taint is a bo- uh, moron. I know and, nothing. You're the only person who's told me anything about him. And, uh, I think he's like Dan Bilzerian was alpha like, male bullshit. Yeah. Dan Bilzerian yeah. is like his his original cult leader. So because he emulated what Dan did, uh, and I actually think somebody was somebody talked about this recently. Um, I think he was actually like some sort of semi-pro pro kickboxer or something like that who andrew yeah, or andrew. oh okay dan bilzerian just literally paid women to be around him so he could take pictures and doesn't he still he probably tries but he's been like bankrupt and... oh really oh yeah, wow the, the properties that he claimed to have owned and like these mansions and stuff like that he actually like rented and uh yeah he didn't know any of it, so he got called out on all of that. It's like a really common trend. People pretending to be yeah. and then actually not. Yeah. Because look, when you don't already have a really nice studio, mm. so you fake the studio, and you fake the money, you fake the wealth. We're not faking anything, guys. I, yeah. this is. We're literally in the office. Her computer's there. My computer's there. There's a bunch of windows. We don't even have doors on this room. Mm-hmm. That's why the dogs are in and out. Mm-hmm. We just know how to make. We're not grifters either. Yeah, we have the. We make zero dollars off of this. Yeah, we might be on. Well, we're monetized on Rumble already. In one week. And what is Rumble? Rumble is a copycat YouTube, but game streamers are moving there. So I was like, you know what? I'll put our videos there, see how they do, and we monetize in a week. Okay. So, if that tells you anything, if you have content, put it on Rumble. We haven't made anything on there. Because we mm-hmm. just monetized today. Mm-hmm. The week that I'm talking about is this weekend till today when we're recording this. Right. We mon- Actually, it's like five days. We monetized in five days. And we're like 50 days into this YouTube thing. 55, something like that. Okay. And uh, It feels longer. I'll be honest. We'll be... Uh, that's what she said. We'll... I wish it was fucking longer. Whatever. Mm. You already said it hurts too much. When did I say that recently? Yesterday. I think you're hearing voices again, babe. Yeah, if if you want to monetize fast, but not make any money still. 
I mean, at least we're monetized. So if we do get views there, or earn revenue off that, but um, the video from last Tuesday mm -hmm. when they're watching this uh, has legs. It has legs. It has legs. Okay. And it's running away. Yes. Okay. And dragging us with it, but. It doubled our public watch hours in two days. Thanks, guys. So our our first twenty the twenty eighth video, I think, is what came out on Thursday yesterday. I have no idea. You're in charge of all of that. So that was episode twenty seven. Okay. So episode twenty seven doubled in two days the watch hours of episode one through twenty six. That's good. Yep. And it has been on. A line like this. He likes it when it goes up. Yep. It's his favorite line thing. Go up. Line go up. But the fact that it, it hasn't gone like this, like a stock, it just keeps going up, means that it's going to keep going up because the algorithm favors success. And when you show it that you can do something that people want to watch, they want to show it to more people. Okay. If more people that they show it to consume it, they're going to continue to show it to more people and it becomes an exponential thing. So that could potentially have been our breakout video. We don't know yet. It already is better than everything that we've done combined. It has 2,500 views. No, this will be our breakout video. You <laughs> refusing to nurse me. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just 20, kidding. 2,500 videos. <laughs> or 2,500 2, views. Okay. Videos. Um, at the time of recording. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this, you're watching this on Tuesday, five days later. Mm -hmm. If it has more than 2,500 views, line continued to go up. The short that launched it mm -hmm. has over 6,000 views right now. The follow-up short that went up a couple hours ago mm -hmm. has already well over 1,000 views. Oh, wow. The second follow-up short that went up one hour ago there's another one? I didn't even know. Yep, because yep, I haven't even watched it yet. Oh. It, it was, uh, I scheduled it. Well, both of them were scheduled, but because I, I use the shorts in our um, dead upload time, like when we don't have new actual videos going up. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Let's see what, and that has, um, I'm not in the studio. Tube Studio. That video went up. It's actually performing bad. <laughs> it's performing better than everything else, but it's performing bad compared to the other two. Mm. It's ranked third of our top ten. It's probably because your face is on there. You can't change the, or set the thumbnail on short. Mm. And I've looked to try and find, like, is it like 30% of the way into the video or whatever? No. YouTube. Doesn't care. No, no. YouTube arbitrarily picks what it thinks is going to be like the the best point mm -hmm. so previously you could set a thumbnail for shorts gotcha and then they disabled it and on our channel it's a disabled function mm -hmm. but the the item is there like we could it's just great out and says you can't do this right now because that's what i used to recommend to some of my youtuber clients some of the gotcha. big youtubers have four and five million subscribers like, if we hey, had more would we be able to i don't know well, they haven't done it. They have not done it since. Mm. So I don't know that even they have the ability to. I actually have to have some marketing material that I need to get to JT Music for their uh, concert this summer. So they're, they're promoting us in that, which greatly appreciate, appreciate John and, and uh, Christian. They're like, they're approaching 6 million subs. Wow. Yep. That's big. On their main channel. They also have a second channel. Wow. Yeah. Six million subs to release one video that's about three minutes long every Saturday. That's a lot. And we're doing three hours a week. It's exhausting. <laughs> well. So I've picked up drinking. Well, they have, I mean, they're, they're making music. So it's, it's a three minute long video, but. Writing the song, writing the music, mm -hmm. producing it, hiring people to make a video for you, edit it, 
if they're doing live action versus animated or lyric video, whatever. So theirs is way more involved than our little production here. And they make more money because they're good. At it. Well, so that, everybody makes more money than we do. We make zero dollars on that. That's true. Well, we can look at the analytics. We're getting the traffic, and traffic means we'll get more traffic, and that traffic means we'll get more traffic. Because all of these algorithms and AI, I mean, we're ranked number two in all of Google right now for the term Mike Glover arrest. And we're ranked one and two, actually, because we're ranked on Reddit. The first, the snippet that comes up for Reddit, there's four or five posts that they display. Mm -hmm. Our Reddit post is on there, and we're the first YouTube video that's immediate be immediately below that. So um, when I say I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. I just don't have enough money to do it consistently and well. Gotcha. And now I'm proving it. And people are going to have to look at this as a case study and be like, Morgan Freeman voice, Andrew did know what he was talking about. So this proves that people <laughs> should hire you for yeah. their businesses. Yes. So that that way their businesses don't. I mean, look, 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 tank. look, look. Okay. We're going to give them at the end of the episode. So they're not going to, nobody's going to watch this. Mm -hmm. Warrior Rising. I was wearing a Warrior Rising shirt for this. And I was like, nope. I'm not going to give them the clicks on the Glover video. Because mm. they don't want to pay me. I've given them feedback on their podcast. I noticed something earlier. What'd you notice? Okay. Whoever is uploading the content for their podcast and for their videos. It's somebody who's getting paid. Yes. They're uploading them as unlisted, right? So I don't even know what that means. So we can upload content and never show it to anybody. I can make it unlisted and I can share a link with you. And gotcha. You can okay. It. Okay. So kind of like a private YouTube. Private is different from unlisted, but okay. yes. Okay. Private is private to you, okay. like channel and people that operate within okay. the channel. Okay. Unlisted means it exists, but it's not publicly available. Okay. But if I share the link to you, you can see it. And if you share the link to somebody else, they can see it. Anybody okay. that has the link can see the content. It doesn't, it's not like Facebook where you have private, mm -hmm. where if somebody wanted to see it, they have to be your friend. Okay. It's not there unless you are the person or connected to the channel. Okay. Yeah. I think I follow. Okay. So, where was I going with that? Warrior Rising. Yeah. Unlisted uploads. Yes. Okay. The Casey video. Mm -hmm. So, I noticed that it said that they were going to publish weekly. Mm -hmm. And then episode one came out, but episode two didn't come out for two weeks. Okay. Casey's episode is listed as number three. Okay. But in the playlist, it's the second episode. Okay. Because it's based on when it was uploaded. Mm -hmm. So it, on their playlist, it goes one, three, two. Oh, okay. But if you go to their channel, Casey's video doesn't exist. Oh. If you go to the podcast playlist, it says it's an unlisted video. So no random so person can click on it? Yeah. So if I showed you the upload process, mm -hmm. there's there's uh, five options okay. when you upload to YouTube. Okay. If you upload a video, you can do upload immediately. It's immediately available. Anybody can watch it once it's done processing. Okay. Or it processes it in tiers. So the shittiest quality, a right, little right. better, a little better, a right. little better, up right. to your maximum quality. Which I know you take a great amount of detail in yeah. making sure that our quality yeah. is... Our, when our videos come out, they come out in the quality that we recorded in. Mm -hmm. Actually, lower than the quality we recorded in. We were, we were recording in 4K60. We were releasing 1440p60. That way you guys can see all of my wrinkles, all of my yeah. everything. So if we were if we released in 4K60, the file size would be four times larger. Mm -hmm. But we don't have the storage for that. I mean, we do, but it takes it takes four times longer to render. It takes four times longer to upload four times long, like so 1440 is that's great better yeah. than 1080 it looks amazing yeah. right anyways it's better than our competitors and our peers right right and we're yeah. using webcams all right 
Anyway, so back to Warrior Rising. Yeah. So, so, Dara and Tommy's episode was supposed to come out this week. Okay. And I texted Ken. I was like, hey, what happened to the Dara and Tommy episode? And he was like, I don't know. Well, Alyssa handles all that. And I was like, well, when I had a meeting with her, she told me that she doesn't have access to it. Mm. So, who's actually handling that account? That's weird. They're fucking... Uh, Casey's video, mm-hmm. which technically... So, maybe it's actually not Casey's video, the girl who's uploading this stuff's fault? No, she told me. She told me that she's not. She told me that she does not have access and that she's not uploading. Somebody else is doing it. She didn't tell me who, and I didn't ask because I assumed that it was DJM. Oh, yeah. gotcha. Okay. But when you upload a video, you have an, you have the options to upload publicly, immediately available. Mm-hmm. Upload publicly, but it's um, or I mean, I'm sorry. Upload unlisted. Upload private. Mm-hmm. Upload immediate premiere. When you're in premiere mode, people can't skip or go backwards. It's as if it's live. Uh, they have to. So if I if I premiere this video mm-hmm. right this minute, mm-hmm. people are watching the beginning of this video and they can't go forward until the video ends. Okay. But once the video is finished premiering, mm-hmm. it becomes video on demand like any other. Gotcha. YouTube video. Okay, yeah. I follow. Or you can schedule a mm-hmm. video, which mm-hmm. is what we mostly do. Right, right. We premiered the Glover video mm-hmm. because that gave me the ability to make sure the shorts of the tie-in first. Okay. So the, the, the thumbnail existed. It was on our website already. The cron jobs had all run. All the automations had run. The link, the link exists as soon as you upload the video. So I, it's not a matter of the link, but it's the thumbnail. So when I do all of my social media promotion stuff, if the video is private or unlisted or scheduled and hasn't come out yet, mm-hmm. it doesn't show the preview. Okay. So, like, you know, with social media, when you see the, the um, like on Facebook, it's called the uh, graph uh, knowledge, or um, knowledge graph, graph, it's all I have no idea what you're talking about. But anyways, back to where you're rising. Your thumbnail is like for your website post, right? Like those those images that go... When you post the link to your website and the image and the snippet and everything like okay. that, that comes from the graph API and the knowledge graph. And if the video is in schedule mode and the video hasn't come out on the exact second that, say, our Pinterest publishes the post, mm-hmm. it'll just be that, like, error image. Gotcha. So I knew that the Glover video was going to be big. Mm-hmm. So I made sure that I scheduled it as a premiere. Mm -hmm. So people knew the video was coming out before it came out. Gotcha. And the short was promoting it because on the short, you watch it. And at the bottom, it says like a referral or not referral. It's like um, something video, like the video that this is from. Mm -hmm. And I could only do that without going back and editing it after the fact by doing it as a premiere. Okay. So they're setting the videos for Warrior Rising is unlisted. Mm. So basically they're burying them. Is that what I'm picking up? Yes, because algorithmically, mm-hmm. when you do it unlisted, rather than, you can up, you can. So up- they're setting, whoever is doing this yeah. is setting them up for failure. You can upload there's it as no, a- There's no salvaging yeah, this. Yeah. You okay, can upload it. it as a draft. You okay. don't have to publish it right, at all. Right. It could only be in your on your side, just right. like a Facebook post or anything else where right. you make a draft. Right. You can upload it as a draft. And edit it later. Mm-hmm. They're uploading it, it, it as unlisted mm-hmm. rather than scheduled. Okay. Or even a draft. So again, whoever's doing this should be fired. Yeah. Yeah. Because they clearly don't know what they're... Okay. Yeah. You're sabotaging the people that are paying you. It's pretty shitty. Yep. And they're a nonprofit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, we're an hour in. Anything else we want to say to the people? How many times do you look at the camera because of... I really <laughs> tried to look at the camera because of that one comment of stop looking at him so much. I'm sorry, but that is the polite thing to do. When somebody's talking to you, you look right. at them. Right. That's why most podcast setups are face to face so that they can have a camera facing me and a camera facing you. Mm-hmm. So you and I never have to break eye contact. Gotcha. Oh, okay. we don't have the space for that. We're very poor. 
We have four kids, three dogs, two houses. We're very, we're terribly poor. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, this has been another episode of all time. We did rectify the roach situation, though. That was a one-time thing, and we yeah. got the bug, yeah. the bug guy in here. Yeah. Thank you, Rick. Yep, yeah. Rick. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I know you're watching or listening. It's the unfortunate thing for living in the South, in the city. Roaches come in. Why are you staring at the camera all creepy? About, cause I was saying I know you're watching or listening. So I was staring at it to make eye contact with Rick. I'm sorry, Felicia. I genuinely apologize. She's not. Anyways, happy... This will be Tuesday. We didn't say happy Mother's Day on Monday. That's terrible. Happy... Belated, belated Mother's Day to all one mother that's probably watching this. Oh, one mother? You. Oh, speaking <laughs> of a mother who I don't think she watches, okay. but I think she listens. Jennifer. What about um, uh, Dallas? Does she live? Our, uh, on Spotify, our, our biggest city is uh, Charlotte. Interesting. It's Charlotte, Wilmington, San Antonio. In that order. She travels for work, and I think she's listened to a couple of episodes, but not anything consistently. Mm. But apparently, Jennifer has been listening, and Alicia is Does the she one make it who. To the end? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So if you have made it all the way to the end, yep. happy belated Mother's Day, and thank you for listening. As all of you guys know, I'm not on social media, and I haven't told anybody about this podcast. So the fact that people are finding it on their own accord. And then coming to me, how could you not people love me? How they could you me not like, tell me that you're doing a podcast? How could you not? People find me and they're like, this lovable panda. Is that what the kids called me at the zoo? We went to the zoo this week, by the way. There weren't any pandas at the zoo. They didn't know, call the, you. No, because the the kids, they were talking about what animal everybody was going to be. And yeah, they were like, they... Andrew would be a panda. No. And you were like, he's not cuddly. Yeah, no. No, absolutely Both not. Are Asian or Chinese? No. I would never be. You would. You would have been an American black bear or brown bear, one of the two, whichever uh, was bigger. Bear. Brown bear is bigger than black bear, right? Yeah, I think so. Grizzly bear. Yeah, bear. yeah, yeah. It's bigger than a black bear, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Black bear is one getting your trash can. Yeah, 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 yeah. You would be a grizzly, grizzly bear. bear. You're, 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 you're a bear. Grizzly bear is winning Academy Awards for The Revenant. Oh, I never saw that either. So that was the long pause. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, you're for sure the grizzly bear. All right, tell me what's on the couch. It's weekend time. Bye. Bye.